Hey viewers, what's going on? It's Spartan Warrior 5 yet again with another Let's Play. And uh, for this episode, we are going to be reviewing Fallout 3. Now, again, if you guys saw my uh, video on Quarry, you guys will know that this is old gameplay, so uh, this Fallout 3 file is basically erased. So I'm going to have to start all over again, as painful that is going to be. But I do have this gameplay, so. I can uh, do my review over this. Now, uh, that's my character. Yes, of course, he's gorgeous. Not anymore. <coughs> uh, I felt good. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, I'm gassy. Tastes like pork. Anyway, um, this. Let's start with the storyline about this game. Basically, what's going on is. There's a huge nuclear war going on, and uh, basically just wipes out everything on Earth, and just makes it a wasteland. And uh, there's these underground vaults. They're like uh, refugees kind of a deal for survivors and trying to build up society again. And uh, you were born in the vaults, so you have no idea what's going on. And you basically just go through life as a child, teenager, you know, whatever. And then uh, you escape the vault. You find out your dad escaped the vault, which is nearly impossible. That just shakes the whole world. Or shakes the whole, like, uh, vault area, I guess you could say. And uh, so you go, and uh, the whole point of the game is you try going and finding your dad. That's basically the whole plot of this game. There's different monsters, different weapons to buy, there's weapons you can make, there's different armors, you know, and there's just, I think there's like 60 hours of gameplay that you can have for this, I and mean, it's crazy. So, let's go into what, segments of the good and the bad. Let's start with the good. First off, as you'll see, what I'm demonstrating here is called the VAT system. Now, VATs, it's a... Uh, basically just freezes time and you target different parts of the enemy's body like headshots I've been getting a couple times look at the slow-mo bullet right in his face I love that I do truly enjoy the VAT system it's a great addition to this game uh, I do like the customization of different armors and such uh, I do like the Kreda weapon whole deal even though I have never done that before, um, I do like it that potentially I could if I got to a high enough level. Uh, I do like the map sizes. I mean, originally when I saw this game, I was like, ooh, wow, that's a really big map. I'm going to get lost so easily. You don't re you really don't because of the way markers. You can just teleport to places and, you know, it just makes things simple. I mean, Oblivion, yes, you got lost in that game so easily. I tried getting into Oblivion, but it just it didn't work for me, so I don't know. And I do like this uh, the Pet Boy, or Pit Boy, there you go. Uh, it just makes things simple. I like the design, so that's another good thing. Uh, weapons, yes, of course, I'm demonstrating the laser pistol here. Uh, it basically rapes face if you can get a good shot off. It just vaporizes the enemy, so that's another good thing. Uh, the detail in this whole game, the graphics, I do like how they've improved since uh, Oblivion. Sure, they're not the greatest of graphics, but still, you know, they are pretty damn good. So, uh, I guess that's what I truly enjoyed about this game. And I was going to do the bad. Um, there is a limitation on the customization you can do. It's like you can't have like custom armors like Oblivion. That's the one thing they did right in that game. Is all the different armor pieces you can put together. Like you have different uh, shoulder guards, you have gauntlets, you know, different boots, all that kind of stuff. You, they did a much better job in Oblivion, I believe, with the whole armor customization than in uh, Fallout. But. Uh, and again, this game does remind me of uh, Oblivion a bit too much with the whole dialogue and, you know, choosing which path you do by uh, which dial or dialogue you choose. I mean, I know it's the same company that made this uh, Oblivion and this game, but it's a different game, so I would expect some differences, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um... 
trying to remember some other things. Um, I, I really don't really know if that made any sense whatsoever. Um, I guess it's really it. I guess. Um, I mean, sometimes missions can be very long and daunting. Like this mission that I was trying to partake here. It's uh, trying to find this kid's dad and. Uh, Oh, that's one other thing. Uh, the whole map you'll see at the bottom of my screen is like north, south, east, and west. You know, that kind of marker. And it has the uh, green triangle for where you have to go. That can really be misleading because it like goes all wacko crazy if you face some different position. So that does bug me a little bit. But, if, I mean, if it's like... I'm not, I don't really know how to explain this. It's like, it'll act up for a while, but other times it'll be fine. That's just one aspect that, you know, I wish they would work on a bit more. You know, some people might be like, oh, just suck it up, but alright. Uh, I've never really played a game like this, with the whole map set up like that. So, it's just, I guess it's something you have to get used to. And, uh, I guess it's really all that was bad about the game. I mean... It is an addicting game, truly. If you get, if you really pay attention to this game, you know, take it seriously, not too seriously, where it's like, oh my God, it's anal retentive, you know. I mean, if you truly enjoy the game, it's really addicting. Like, there was a time when I first bought this game where I was just playing this, you know, instead of any Call of Duty. I didn't play uh, World of War, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2. I was just playing Fallout because it was just so engrossing, but. There was a time when I just put it down for a bit. That's actually one thing I don't like. It It's easy to put it down, I guess you could say. I mean, if, if like, you start playing something else, you can immediately just forget about this game and then go on straight to something else. I mean, it, it is kind of hard to explain because it is so addicting when you're starting to play it. But, uh... I guess that's, uh... I guess that's it, how to explain it. I don't know. I mean, truly, I would recommend this game to anyone who has not bought it yet. Uh, there is Fallout New Vegas coming out, so you might as well just pick up that, because Fallout 3 was a great game. Um, hopefully it'll have the same engine or an improved engine for uh, New Vegas, so only time will tell. Let's see what happens there. Um, I guess that's really it. I would definitely recommend, if you guys aren't getting New Vegas, to get Fallout 3. Next uh, Let's Play will be... I'm going to... Guys, I'm sticking to it. I'm going to finish Killing Poseidon and God of War 3, so I'm going to do that next. Um, after that, I'm going to do my little review on Borderlands. You might be seeing a lot more Borderlands from me. Just let me know if you want to see Borderlands, because I'm really engrossed in that game. It's It's... I'll have to tell you guys more about it in that review, but uh, that's it for this commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed. For more commentaries and gameplays, check out the channel. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later, because uh, we got about a couple seconds here. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later.